Welcome to the first video, Module 1A, in our research series. Whether you're just starting out or looking to enhance your skills, this series will guide you through every step of the research process. In this video, we're going to cover the basics, what research is, why it's important, and how you can get started. Before I do that though, let me introduce myself first. So my name is Jofi Lin and I'm a junior in the Science and Engineering Magnet program at Mount Alpine High School. My general research interests lie in the field of computer science, particularly AI and bioinformatics. With my research, my work has been recognized at the International Science and Engineering Fair, also known as ICEF, and I also had the opportunity to intern at Harvard Medical School. Today, I'm happy to be here to talk about what research is. Before we dive into the details, let's take a moment to go over what you can expect from this course. This course is a comprehensive 16 video series that is designed to guide you step by step through the research process as a beginner. The course is taught by experienced researchers, including ISAF finalists and individuals who have done research at institutions like NYU, Harvard, and Stanford. There are three main modules in the series, each of which focuses on a key part of the research process, plus a bonus section featuring exclusive interviews. Module one is the research journey. In this module, you'll explore what research is and why it's so important. We'll help you figure out how to choose a research topic that interests you and give you guidance on the early stages of starting your research journey as a student. We'll learn how to identify research questions and set a foundation for your work. Module two is the research process. This module dives into the technical aspects of conducting research. You'll learn how to perform literature reviews, gather data, and analyze our findings. We'll break down each part of the process, making it easier to follow and apply to your own project. Module three is communicating and presenting your research. Once you've completed your research, the next step is to effectively communicate your findings. In this module, we'll focus on how to clearly present your results, both in written formats, such as research papers and reports, and in spoken formats, such as presentations or speeches. We'll also cover visual aids like graphs, charts, and posters to help convey your data in a meaningful way. The bonus section is the exclusive interviews. As a special edition, this section will feature interviews with a student who was both an ISA finalist and a RSI scholar and a Stanford professor who is also a NASA researcher. They will give advice on things such as how to build a research career and how to get into top research programs and competitions. So by the end of this course, you will not only understand the fundamentals of conducting research, but also gain the confidence and tools needed to start your own research project and present it effectively. So moving on, what is research? Let's start by discussing the purpose of conducting research and what you can expect to gain from this. First, the purpose of research goes beyond simply gathering information. Research is a tool for solving real world problems. It allows us to address pressing issues in various fields, whether it's in science, technology, social issues, or the arts. Research helps us innovate and find solutions to challenges that impact our world. Additionally, engaging in research provides valuable experience. It helps you develop skills that are not only crucial in academia, but also highly valued in professional settings. Another purpose of research is to encourage curiosity and innovation. Research is driven by curiosity, by the desire to learn more, discover new things, and push the boundaries of what we know. Lastly, research can play an important role in your career development. Whether you're aiming for a future in academia, industry, or entrepreneurship, conducting research demonstrates your ability to work independently, think critically, and contribute to the advancement of your field. Now, let's look at the outcomes you can expect from this course. By the end of the series, you will have the tools needed for brainstorming research ideas. You'll know how to generate and develop ideas that are both meaningful and researchable. You'll also learn how to select a research topic that's relevant, engaging, and manageable. This is a crucial step that sets the foundation for the rest of your research journey. In addition, you'll gain the skills to create winning level boards, whether it's for a science fair, conference, or publication. Presenting your research clearly and effectively is key to making an impact. Finally, you'll learn how to get opportunities to network and explore career possibilities. Research often opens doors to new connections and collaborations, allowing you to build relationships with experts in your field and discover new career paths. Let's now take a closer look at some of the specific key skills you will gain from the research process. First, you will enhance your critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Research requires you to ask questions, analyze information, and develop solutions to complex problems. Whether you're interpreting data or trying to understand a research gap, your ability to think critically and solve problems will be sharpened throughout this process. 
Next, you will develop strong data analysis and interpretation skills. Gathering data is only the first step. What's even more important is knowing how to analyze and make sense of it. Through this course, you will learn how to handle data, whether qualitative or quantitative, and interpret what it means in relation to your research questions. In addition, you will build proficiency in project management and organization. Conducting research often involves managing multiple tasks and timelines, from planning your study, collecting data, writing drafts, and preparing for presentations. Learning how to stay organized will be crucial to completing your project successfully. Finally, you will improve your communication skills. Research isn't just about discovering new information. It's also about sharing that knowledge with others, whether through writing research papers, giving presentations, or discussing your findings with peers and mentors, effective communication is very important. You'll learn how to present complex ideas clearly and convincingly, both in written and oral formats. Now, let's talk about what you should expect through the process of conducting research. One of the most important things to expect and prepare for in your research journey is managing your time effectively. Research projects often come with multiple deadlines, responsibilities, and unforeseen challenges, so time management is very important to ensure you stay on track. Let's break this down into a few key points. First, if you're applying to a local fair, competition, or conference, it's important to take note of all deadlines. These could be submission deadlines, project progress checks, or any requirements related to your participation. Missing a deadline can jeopardize your chances, so be sure to create reminders and keep all key dates in one place, whether you do it through a calendar or a project management app. Second, make sure you're setting clear objectives and milestones. Break down your research project into smaller, manageable tasks with their own mini deadlines. This not only makes the project less overwhelming, but also allows you to track your progress. For example, set specific dates for when you'll finish gathering data, start writing your literature review, or begin analyzing your findings. Third, it's important to balance your research with other responsibilities. You likely have schoolwork, extracurricular activities, or even part-time jobs alongside your research. To avoid burnout, schedule time blocks specifically for research, but don't forget to account for other commitments. A well-balanced schedule will help you be productive without feeling overwhelmed. Finally, always add buffer time for adjustments. Research rarely goes exactly as planned, so it's a good idea to leave room in your schedule for setbacks. This could mean allowing extra time for troubleshooting issues with data collection, revising drafts, or making changes based on feedback. Adding buffer time ensures that you have enough flexibility to manage unexpected challenges without derailing your project. In short, effective time management means planning ahead, keeping track of deadlines, staying organized with your tasks, and being adaptable when things don't go exactly as planned. This will not only help you successfully complete your project, but also reduce stress throughout the process. Another thing to keep in mind is that as you navigate through your research journey, it's inevitable that you'll encounter roadblocks, obstacles that can slow down or even derail your progress if not managed properly. But don't worry. Overcoming challenges is a part of the research process, and it's these challenges that will ultimately make your research stronger. Let's discuss how to approach roadblocks. First and foremost, it's crucial to start by identifying obstacles early. Whether it's an issue with data collection, lack of access to resources, or difficulty in finding relevant studies, the sooner you recognize potential roadblocks, the easier it will be to find solutions. Regularly reviewing your progress and being honest with yourself about what's working and what's not will help you catch issues before they become major setbacks. Next, don't hesitate to reach out to teachers or mentors for help. Research can feel isolating, but you don't have to tackle it all alone. Teachers and mentors can offer valuable guidance, suggest alternative approaches, and help troubleshoot problems you may not be able to solve on your own. In some cases, you may need to revise your research design or methods. If you find that your initial approach isn't yielding the results you expected, don't be afraid to make adjustments. Research is an iterative process, and being flexible is important. Perhaps your original data sources aren't as useful as you thought, or maybe a different methodology would suit your research question better. Revising your design doesn't mean you're starting from scratch. It's about refining your approach to get the best possible outcome. It's also incredibly helpful to document challenges and solutions as you go. Keep a detailed record of what obstacles you face, how you address them, and what the outcomes were. This not only helps you keep track of your progress, but also provides a roadmap for others who might encounter similar issues. Plus, documenting your problem-solving process can be valuable when you're writing the methodology or discussion sections of your final report or presentation. 
Now we've talked about that. Remember that research is as much about the journey as it is about the outcome. Each roadblock you overcome will not only make your project stronger, but also make you a more resilient and capable researcher. As you move forward, keep in mind that every researcher, no matter how experienced, faces obstacles. What sets successful researchers apart is their ability to adapt, seek help when needed, and continuously refine their approach. Thank you for joining me in this video, and hopefully it was helpful, and I will see you in future videos.